What's up, guys? Welcome to episode seven already of the Herds Griffin Let's Play. Thank you for joining me here again on the farm. It is May 1st. Uh, it is 7 a.m. as you can see, and we've got $40,000 in the bank. I've made this a little bigger, uh, the display, the, the HUD display, so we can all kind of follow a little bit easier. But uh, this is episode seven, and we have already planted grass. We have already planted oak over in the other field. And if you're asking yourself, wait a minute, when was that? I didn't show it, and the reason I didn't show it is because the recording got messed up. Full transparency, that's on me. Sorry about that. You're just going to have to believe me. Now, also what I did is I simulated to May 1st, uh, just so that all that grass would be done. The reason being, um, there's really not much to do on the farm other than wait at the moment. So I wanted to go to May 1st when we could actually have something to cut. Uh, I've had coffee this morning, can you tell? But either way, we're gonna cut this with this uh, with this mower that I love here. Cut up all this field and bale it. Today we're gonna make hay. As you can see behind us, we've got plenty of silage, but we need hay, we need grass, um, and then we need straw, and that is what the uh, oat is for. So, with that all being said, let's cut up a lot of pieces of grass here. Let's mow this thing down. All right, so that's all mowed up and ready to go. Uh, obviously, we're going to uh, windrow all of this. But before we do any of that, we are gonna have to dry this grass. And the only way to do that is with a tether, I believe. I don't know if time uh, does that. If you do, let me know in the comments. I'm still trying to learn this game a little bit. But uh, does if you just leave this on the field, I would wonder if it would just become hay natural. I think it probably would, um, but who am I to tell? I don't know. Uh, but we are going to tie it up because we don't have time to figure out that experiment. And we are going to try to get some hay before the end of the day. I, I don't know what it is with this series, but I just seem to rhyme words. And it seems like it's on purpose, and it's not. And it's not overly impressive either, so I'm not trying to say that. I'm just trying to say, I'm not trying to be annoying with that. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but either way, we are going to go down to Clever Motors. Clever Motors is our favorite, right? I mean, we had it down there all the time. Before we do, though, let me check out uh, this oat. And as you see, it's growing. Um, as you see, the yield's not amazing. I know how to get it better. I will get it better. Uh, I just wanted to plant something fast so that we could get things going. In all honesty, both fields need work, and both fields will get work so that we can increase the yield. That yield straight ahead, or the field straight ahead, our our yard, for lack of better words, as I smack us in the head with that tree. Uh, I'm gonna plant, or I'm gonna plow that over as well, so that we have a little bit more 
um, control in terms of what we're going to do with the field. Right now, it's just, as I call it, meadow grass. I don't know what you'd call it, if, it, if that's what they call it or not, but that's what I call it here on this channel. So the meadow grass, as I almost take out my, my fence, um, the meadow grass is something that we need to get rid of. Obviously, we'll cut it up first, and then we'll plow it, but just something to look forward to in the future. Now, I'm going to take this down, and then we'll head up to Clever, and we'll get this tether. All right, now, headed down to Clever Motors, and I figured I would take this drive down so that we could see other fields and other farmers, what they've been doing. Um, look around the landscape but also to give you some channel updates um, in terms of this channel I've got a new uh, time-lapse series that has just debuted and I'm looking forward to that it's a clothing company we're going to start building a clothing company up from from scratch so I'm excited for that that's gonna happen in Fairfield County Colorado uh, the Fairfield map is awesome and I, honestly I've been getting a lot of questions about that where'd you find this where is it um, I, it's not on mod hub but I forget it's one of the I, I never, I'm never going to endorse where to get mods from because I'm an idiot in that regard at times. But um, either way, uh, it's it's a good map that uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed so far uh, from a production standpoint. So I have got that going. Also, the roleplay series took a week off. Just had to get some things straight with it. And I plan on having another episode this Sunday. So look for that. That should be good. And overall, just having a good experience here in my first month on YouTube uh, with the farm sim. And I plan on doing this for a very long time. I find it to be a, a very rewarding way to play the game. So am I the best player at farm sim? I am not the best player at farm sim. But, you know, I, I watch other people just like you guys. Uh, probably some Daggerwind fans there, some Scruff fans, some... Um, you know, Austin Farmer fans, some squad fans. I mean, I can keep going. Uh, farm some guy, farm cop. I mean, I can keep going. DJ Goham, but I'm not going to keep going. What I'm going to say is uh, I love watching their content. I like making this content because, you know, it gives me a little bit of ways to look back at the farm and go, oh, I remember how it used to look. So, I don't know. I'll stop rambling. We'll get this uh, tether. Now, which one do we want? This one's 16. That one's 42. That one, we don't need to tad that bad. And I think we're probably going to lease something. So we'll get the biggest one for lease. That's not that other one. <laughs> so it's going to set us back a little bit. Not much, though. That's great. $841? That's fine. I'm good with that because it's not real money. I'm sitting over here spending farm some money. Of course. Sure. Go for it. All right. Tether hooked up. We'll head back up to the farm, obviously. Where else would we be going? And we are going to go Ted all of this grass on up and make some hay. Should be good. Should be a good day. It's already 10.15. As long as we don't hit that... What is that? Is that a BMW? As long as we don't hit that car with our big tractor. We'll head on up there and uh, get some Ted and done. I'll see you when we get up there. All right, approaching the farm here. I like this look on the way in. It doesn't matter what your layout is. I'm not putting my layout over as the best thing ever. I'm just saying I love that it's up on a hill like that. It looks great. No matter what you do with this piece of property, I think it'll look good. There are some that are out there saying, well, this doesn't look good. Yeah, fair point. Either way, it'll work. And either way, we're going to get this thing tedded up. So let's ted this all up and get cracking with this. See how far we can go. It's 1030 right now. I'd love to get done before noon. I have no time expectations as to how long this will take. But it's not going to get done if I just sit here and continue to ramble. So let's get this thing done.
All right, 12.17. I wanted to get it done before noon. I didn't know of the time expectation, but 20 minutes late, that's not awful, I guess. We'll get these final couple rows done here. Then we'll go over and get the wind rower, try to wind row this up a little bit and make these into rows. That way we're able to at least manageably pick these things up. I don't know if anybody doesn't use the wind rower, right? I'm sure there are people out there. I don't know what you're doing. Either way. Play how you play. That's the way I say. And there I am rhyming again. Go get the wind rower from the first yard over here. The main yard, I guess, where I keep all of my equipment anyway. Can't wait to get that oat done. We'll have some straw. We'll be able to sell the oat, obviously. I don't plan on doing any horses or anything like that, so maybe I could sell them in town. Either way, it all adds up. 40000 Dollars is basically what we have and 62 bucks on top of that but we're doing okay I mean we still have to get some cows I understand that I understand the cows are going to be expensive might pay the delivery fee might go get them I don't know I'm debating whether I do another contract so that I can buy a, a trailer or not but let me unhook this and then we will get the wind rower out and get everything situated all right, wind rower out. We are in business. Why are you not using that gate? I don't know. I don't trust it. I don't like how it is looking at me. I don't know. But we're going to use this gate down here. It's just a thing. I, I have no idea. But this should get us into nice rows. Easy to pick up. Be able to get some hay by the end of the day. And... Um, I plan on not hitting you with that tree or that post, but I plan on going down to Clever, getting a baler later today. I already told the guy, look, I'm down here again today because I'm going to have to give you more of our money. And a contract is looking very, very possible. Very possible. I've got $40,000. I know the trailer just to get the cows are twenty five dollars if I wanted to buy it. Always could lease it. Always. Depends on how many cows we're going to get. I have no number in my head right now. I don't. As many as I can get. Hopefully I don't have to fix that fence that I just keep running myself into. But let's get this done. Let's get this all into rows. And then uh, I'll be back with you. We'll go down, get a baler. As you guessed it, it is 1 o'clock right now. That means we're working pretty late tonight until we can't see anymore. It's just how it goes, you know. This, this rule of 5 o'clock, I am out of my mind in the first episode. Uh, we'll be working late quite a bit, so let's get this done so that we don't have to work any later. Alrighty, done with that job. Let's take that hard corner right out of there first. There we go. I'll thank myself for that later. Now we'll fold this up. And we will take it back to the yard. And as I said, we're about to head down to Clever Motors for the second time today. Hey, it's only 220. 
You don't know. I mean, we could be down there a couple more times. Either way. Headed up to the farm. Going to drop this off and then go get a baller. I don't know what kind of baller, but I can tell you one thing. And, I, and you know, if you're a fan of this series, you already know. There's going to be no... There's going to be no automatic uh, wrapping involved. That beeper is too long. Too long. And you're saying, well, listen, guy. <laughs> the beeper is going to be on any one of them. I get it. It's just, uh, it's just a little thing, a little hang-up, if you might, with me, with that baller. We don't get along, okay? Let's just say that. And now I'll pick this back up uh, when we're down there with the baller. Um, we'll figure out what kind of baller we want, and we'll go from there. Man, this yard is getting really messy. All right, down here at everybody's favorite motor company, Clever Motors. And at the risk of sounding incredibly redundant, we're about to get the baller. And I gotta pick those seeds up too. Because at the risk of being incredibly forgetful, I have not got those seeds yet. And that was a couple episodes. I do need to grab them eventually from them. But let's see what kind of baller we're gonna get here. Um, it's hard to tell. I wish they'd give me another angle. Oh, no, no. Oh, goodness, no. Oh, goodness, no. I think that was the one from the last time, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Those squares. We want circles. We want, we want round bells. Oh, goodness. No, no. That That is our nemesis there. So let's go with this one. We'll go with the coon. We're going to lease this out. It's going to cost us about three grand, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to give us bells that we desperately, desperately need. It's a lot of bags of seeds still. I'm sure they're probably a little annoying. Again, a reminder to the people who don't know the sound. Uh, I don't know. It gives me a really loud screeching sound um, in my headphones. I don't understand it. It comes across in the game, which is unfortunate, so I have to edit them out. I've been through Discord servers. I've been through Giants themselves. I've been through people that know this game way better than I do, and none of us can figure out the million dollar question of why that does that. I don't know. I'm not a computer guy like that to where I can look at the logs and be like, oh, well, this is obviously the reason. Uh, people that I do know, what is this guy doing? He just stopped for no reason whatsoever. That's four ways now. Driving today. Anyway. I uh, couldn't figure it out, so uh, we're stuck with that for right now. Hopefully it won't be too much of a distraction. But, to not let us distract it more, or to, la to not let it distract us more, if I can talk, uh, we are going to go up there and bail and get some bails done. It's already 3, what, 340 right now, 320. We're getting on in the day, but like I said, we're going to work a little later today. Hopefully, we're able to get a lot of this job done. These two wheels are definitely, uh, definitely keep my eye on. I like them. I want them. <laughs> but that is a long ways away. I mean, we're $37,000 in the good right now. We have no loan. That's beautiful. I'm trying to keep it so that we don't have a loan. But we'll see how long that lasts. I've already ate my words quite a bit in this series, so don't be surprised if we get a loan next episode. But not not really. But you know, we're trying. And as long as contract works available, I think we'll we'll be okay until we get maybe a little bit impatient and that's when everything starts going back and you know, decisions. But already our first bell done, ready to go. And we'll get this job done as well. I'll be back with you on the other side of it.
right, well, a good amount of bales. Obviously, there could be more. Put fertilizer on there next year. I think just a little bit of patience here to begin with will be good for us financially. Are we going to grow the farm as fast as we could? No, but it's also not the goal. We would like to have milk within, you know, two or three years of starting up. This is, I guess, year one, right? I mean, if you want to call last year when we started in August year one, I don't. I want to call this year one. I'll just try to get a couple, a little bit more hay here to fill this up, but I don't think we're going to fill this up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to mow a little bit across the street. And then we'll start doing some stuff over there. I don't know, maybe a couple swipes just around the house just to try to get a little bit of a head start for tomorrow. I may end up hurting myself here because it may end up getting darker than I think, but uh, in a, a little sooner than I think, shall I say, but I, I don't know. We'll have to see. At first, we're just gonna go put this baler up here and go cut some grass up here. Probably a couple, like I said, a couple passes, just a couple, just to get us started. Probably shouldn't even really be doing that. I should probably just start picking up the bales and call it a day, but let's get a little bit more done just because I'm a glutton for punishment. And hey, you know, if that means driving around in a pitch black trying to find bales, uh, then that's fine with me. Hey, you know, punishment comes in all forms, but let's get this done and I will get back with you when we're done. Okay, it's a little bit later, as you can tell by the sky and how dark it is. We've gotten a couple passes done over there with the grass, tatted them up. We'll be able to get them tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm really worried about that because I'm not sure. And that's why I only wanted to start two passes. I forgot to mention that it is going to rain tomorrow and for the next couple days. So wanted to at least try to get those done. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to unless I get out really early in the morning I don't know forget what time it's supposed to rain I, I know it's supposed to be in the morning and all day for I think the next couple days now we're playing five day seasons here so we'll have a couple a little bit more time to pick them up and it's only May if we can't get three cuttings then that's that's gonna suck honestly but at the same time um, it'll it'll be okay it's not gonna be the end of the world but what will be the end of the world is probably 45 minutes from now when this is so dark that I can't even see and I can't even show you anything, right? What are we going to be filming? So I'm going to leave this here. We're going to grab these bales as best we can off this field. And um, yeah, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, thank you so much for people who have subscribed. It really means the world to me. This is really fun to do. Um, and I, I really enjoy creating content, especially the role play series again, which will be back on Sunday, as well as um, more time lapses, I think, because I play this game quite a bit, and sometimes I'm not able to get on a microphone, so um, I'm going to start uploading a little bit more time lapses as well. So until then, thank you so much, and we will see you again in Griffin, Indiana.